Hi everybody, it's Martin here, bringing you more down-to-earth teachings on mediumship, without the fluff. So in today's video, I want to answer the following questions. Who can be a medium? Can everybody develop mediumship? How do I know what my potential for mediumship is? And how do I develop mediumship? If that sounds of interest to you, stay with me. Okay, let's get into it. So who can be a medium? There's two schools of thought here. One school of thought is that mediumship is a gift and only a select few people have that gift of mediumship. The other school of thought is that mediumship is an ability or a faculty that we all have and that we all have it to varying degrees, just like any other ability, like any form of art or music or writing. So I believe it's an ability we all have and we all have it to different degrees. If you have a strong ability, then we would say you were gifted. If you don't have such a strong ability, we would say there wasn't the gift there. So how do you know if you have the potential to do mediumship? How do you know if you have the gift of mediumship? Well, the simple answer is you don't. And I know that's not the answer you wanted to hear, but that's the truth. The simple answer is you don't for reasons I'll get into. So each of us has a natural ability to do mediumship that is near the surface. And we also have a deeper potential that has to be unfolded from within. And those two are separate. So we have the natural near surface ability and we have the deeper potential within. Some people have a very strong natural ability and that near surface ability can be developed very quickly without much effort at all. But for other people that don't have that near surface natural ability and what has to be developed is that deeper potential from within. Now nobody can see your deeper potential and that deeper potential needs time, effort and the right conditions to unfold. So if you have a high potential, you may develop quicker or you may be able to go further. If you have a lower deeper potential, then you may develop slower or you may not be able to go quite as far, but you have to give it the time and effort to see how much potential exists within you. So not everybody can go on to become a professional medium or a platform medium, that may not be possible, but I believe that everybody can be trained to give contacts reasonably well. There are a few exceptions, people who are not grounded in reality, people who may have mental health issues, but outside of that, everybody has the potential to give contacts reasonably well. How much further you can go will depend upon the deeper potential within you and only time and effort will tell. Now it's important to know that nobody can tell you you can't be a medium. Nobody can tell you you won't be a medium. Nobody can tell you you don't have the ability for mediumship. I was once told by a well-known tutor that I didn't have the ability for mediumship. I was told that I would never become a medium. Thank heavens I never listened. And because of that, I'm here talking to you now as a medium. So tutors can only see the ability that you've unfolded to this point in time. And they can only see what is close to the surface waiting to be unfolded. They cannot see that deeper potential that lies further within. So that is the reason that nobody can tell you you don't have the potential, that you can't be a medium. Now, as a tutor myself, I've looked and I've seen students struggling. I've looked and I can't see a near surface potential there with them. I can't see uh, natural ability. And I've wondered, will that student be able to develop mediumship to a standard that is good? And I've wondered about that. But after years of development or even decades of development, they've gone on to be a working platform medium and a very good platform medium. And that tells me that we cannot go off what we initially see. We cannot go off the fact they're struggling. We cannot go off the fact that doesn't seem to be a near surface potential there or a near surface ability. We have to look at the bigger picture. So I personally get quite angry when I hear of students who are told they don't have the potential to do mediumship because it's wrong. No one can tell you that because no tutor can see the deeper potential within you. Understand that nobody can tell you, you can't be a medium. If you're enjoying this video so far, do hit the like button, do leave me a comment and consider subscribing to the channel. So what does it take to develop mediumship? Well, first of all, you've got to want to develop it. If you don't want to develop mediumship, you won't be able to develop it. Mediumship takes time and effort. Mediumship takes a lot of time to develop. It takes years of development, decades even. So you've got to give it that time and effort. You've got to be in it for the long haul. You've got to give it all the time it needs. For more information, check out my video, How Long It Takes to Develop Mediumship, and I'll put a link in the comment and description below. So it takes dedication and commitment to develop mediumship. Many people start developing mediumship, but they give it up or they fail when the going gets tough. And I guarantee you the going will get tough. 
So we need that commitment because that commitment will see us through those difficult, challenging times. To develop mediumship, you need the right motivation. Right reasons for developing mediumship are to be of service, to help others, to do healing, to give back. Wrong reasons for developing mediumship are fame, fortune, money, ego, control, power. They need to be constantly praised. They're all to do with the ego, not the soul. We want reasons that are inspired by your soul. When we do mediumship for the right reasons, you'll find that it creates the conditions within you for your mediumship to unfold quicker, for your mediumship to blossom. So we also need right timing and right conditions. Often when the time is right and the conditions are right, the abilities and potentials within us begin to unfold so much more quickly and so much more easily. We may need to work upon ourselves. There may be a lot of our own issues, emotions or, or challenges mentally that we have to deal with to move forward. Other times we may need more life experience or we may need to mature for our mediumship to unfold. Many people come to mediumship in their, their teens or their early 20s and it may not necessarily be the right time. Often they pull away and come back after they've gained life experience or more maturity. So we have to be in the right place in our lives for it to develop. We may need to be in a time in our lives when we can focus upon ourselves. Often if we have a very busy life, it's hard to develop. If you're a busy mum with young children, that may not be the right time in your life to develop mediumship. Often it can be an event in our lives that triggers our mediumship. It could be the loss of a loved one. It could be the loss of a job. It could be the loss of a relationship or the loss of a home. It could be a traumatic event that happens within our lives that connects us to our soul and helps create the conditions for our mediumship to unfold. For me, it was the loss of my mum that was the trigger for my search to develop mediumship, for me to set foot on that process of development. So in summary, everybody has the ability to develop mediumship. We can all develop it provided we want to. But it will take time, it will take effort, and it will take dedication. If we're not willing to work with it, we won't develop. But if we are willing to work with it, only time will tell just how far we can go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and do leave me a comment. If you like my videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. So I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next one.